Western Conference Podcast brought to you by Dos Cadas Tequila. And it's a reunion of sorts because we have my brother West Stafas back in the building. And this is part two of my brothers, the Common Kings, one time or another. It is a celebration. When I say celebration, we're here to talk about a few things, brothers. Yes. We're talking about the brand new album celebration that just I was about over a month old. Yes. And we got the Road to Maui tour that we are currently on. Yes. And you're stopping Vegas at the Reggae Rise Up. So with that said, let's get into this album. But everybody introduce yourself for those who don't know who may be under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mata. Uncle Louie. Junior King. Big Rome. Hey. What's you too? Because you ain't been in a while. Hey, yeah. What's up, man? We'll be back in the building. Hey, man. He said all oh, the kings are coming. I'm going to come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we are here back again here in Las Vegas. But, Mata, we're talking about this album. Man. We're talking about the celebration that is going to be the celebration of music that you guys released about over a month now. Tell us about this whole process and what you guys are doing on this tour now. Well, first of all, my favorite track, Wild Out number nine. Hey, it's all shout out. Everybody, put that on the way. Put that on repeat. I'm gonna get that out of the way now. Let's get that out of the way right now. That's gonna be playing right now as this clip is on Instagram. And that's the end of the podcast. That is so funny. No, it's been amazing. We haven't had an actual full length album tour in over five years. So instead of us jumping on a summer tour to be direct support with all the other boys, we're like, you know what? Let's just bet on ourselves. Do a full fall album tour yes celebration tour and the album came out and everyone's loving it man we're so grateful for all the response that we ha that we've been getting back so it's been dope and to play some of the new songs on during the tour it's yeah. been just phenomenal and we just got in from new york city last night new yeah. york city brooklyn in the yes. building this man morning. but you guys been smashing because me and westafa had the privilege of joining you guys early off in the tour on the west coast oh it was fire. and we finished off in utah utah show was bro something. come on on a yeah. wednesday on a wednesday bro. and hey utah showed up and showed out but just yes. The energy with this one, because like you said, you guys are normally direct support. Yes. And for this one to kind of be like where well, you guys are betting on yourselves and this kind of say, look, we just released the album. Why not just go do this whole celebration tour? Mm -hmm. Why not? It was Had amazing. To. Dude, and then Ian jumped on. That was phenomenal. Sammy. Sammy dude, yeah. Dude, Shout out Ian Tonkin, too. That, that boy, yeah. I don't think he knows yet about how powerful. Talented. <laughs> and how talented he influence. Is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been amazing. Um, the, all the shows, bro. Pac Amp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. The hometown. one. The, the whole hometown, homecoming show. Hometown, yeah. Orange County. If you guys don't, haven't seen on social media already, the dude. Orange County homecoming show. Because one... The OC Fair wasn't even going on. Because no, normally, no. acts that go there have the OC Fair to kind of yeah. like have that to complement it. Yeah. You guys went in and said, look, we're going back on ourselves and see this is our, you know, our home. Every seat in that place was, was sold out. Bro, it was, Standing it was, it was incredible. incredible. Everybody, half, one third of it was just our family. It was yeah. just thank God. We told everybody to buy a ticket. I was like, do not go on Big Body Cisco's yeah. guest list because you got 45 people already. But tell us how this whole process, because this this album has been a long time coming. I mean, we've been talking about this album for a minute. Where Oh, bro, you know that. When has it finally came for you guys to say, okay, it's full circle moment where you guys are saying, look, we got all the songs that we're doing. You guys are picking, choosing through it because there's a lot of there's a lot more music that people don't know about, right, Wes, that we're talking about. Yeah. That this whole other, we'll, we'll get into that quick. But before yeah. that, tell us about how the celebration song process came about. COVID, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. look, two weeks into COVID, we're all shooting texts to each other, calling each other, go like, hey, you guys good? You good? Yes. All right, let's just let's just get back in it. Yeah. yeah. You know, and so we uh, we knew everything was shut down. We had to go into like, you know, just it was, it was the first time in a long time that we we weren't touring, we weren't doing anything. Yeah. And we got to just. We well, yeah, had the world focus. stopped at that moment. Yeah. yeah pretty much. Everybody didn't do anything. Some, you know, something happened. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so we were able to focus on just, you know, doing doing music. And uh, it took us to so many different places yeah. to get, you know, to, to work with different producers and artists and mm -hmm. songwriters and people that all came into our lives and that had been a part of our lives. Um, it. it Celebration is just such a perfect word yeah. for it because it really was a celebration of our relationships, a uh, celebration of, you know, the people that we love, the people that we love to work with. Um, our journey. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. and then all the kind of music styles that we like. Yeah, you know, but you, you can go, hear that in Celebration album. Absolutely, yeah. because yeah. me and Wes were talking about this, like, it's one of the front to backs. It's like, well, you can listen from the front, first song to the Back. last song. And was that something that you guys said, okay, we, we want to not leave anything on the on the cutting room floor. Well, we want each track to kind of have a, some kind of sentimental meaning yep. for you guys. But like, how was the process of saying, look, we're going to say this is number one all through, through all the way down to the last one. Exactly that. It was just, we wanted the people to just press play 
and let it go. Yeah. And that's exactly what we felt like we accomplished. And it took a long time for us four with Toto to sit down to be like, all right, cool. How what records are gonna make this album? Yeah. And, and where in the and album. And where in the album. Yeah. The, it, and it felt like it finally made sense. But like, all right, cool. Everyone had their own version and then we agreed to that. And it, it just felt so good. Uh, and what we knew that it worked because everybody else that's out there, all our fans, have a different favorite record. Yeah. yeah. Everyone and there's not the same two records off the whole album. And that's what's dope about it. Yeah. yeah. Like when people ask you, what's your favorite song? You get different answers oh, every time. Oh, the whole time, man. Yeah. And it's been amazing. Um, so 18 months out over 120 some records and we picked the top 12 and then another 12 coming out. But that's what it was. Four riding camps in Miami. Miami came with heat, yeah. bro. Um, Nashville, Cali, and also we went to Hawaii, and we, we just tapped it in there. Shout out to Jason, Joshua, Pooh Bear, the Audibles, yeah. everybody, Mark, Shout out to Audibles, everybody, man. bro. They yeah, so yeah. bad. That's family, because right there. not only with the producer collabs, you guys had a lot of good features on it as well. Absolutely. Like, tell us how they like. I remember me and Wes being at Cali Roots and having Demarco come to the bus. Oh, and bro, kind of like doing yeah. that whole thing. Tell Dude, us how that all came about. Oh my goodness. goodness. Well, after we started doing all the shots and the drinking and smoking and everything, yeah. <laughs> we went to go see Demarco. We're like, yo, he's bad. Like, yeah. yo, let's. Why don't we have them on a record and say, what song do we need a, a feature? Yeah. Let's do just one of those days. And Ooh. like, yo, can nah, we he hit listen to a bunch of them? He's like, yo, he, I, I found that one. one. Yeah, he gravitated yeah. to that one. And then boom, yeah. we roam. Like, set up the back. Go on the back. We got to set up the Cut whole right there. studio session in the back. Yeah. Grab the microphone. Boom. Knocked it out. Done. But tell us about because just one of those days, besides Wild Out, is one of my favorite. <laughs> yeah. I would say my favorite feature is obviously <laughs> on Wild Out. Yeah. Besides that, yeah. one, but tell us how just one of those days, like even just kind of came about for you guys, as because you see that one and stay here. A lot of these tracks are, you know, you guys kind of got out of the the zone of saying, look, we could do some stuff and kind of really make this our own, which you guys did. Yeah. Tell us about the process. Well, so people that know us know that we're not just an island reggae yes. band. Mm -hmm. And so we finally felt like we got the opportunity to be like, all right, cool. We released Lost in Paradise. We released all these other records. Let's do something really for us. Chill. Yeah. And chill, chill that we feel like this is us. Just one of those days yeah, was one of those. in the those backyard, you know? Cruisings. City of Champions. Yes. Yeah. All those. There's just a little bit of everything. And then when City of Champions, uh, what do you call it? Just one of those days came together. We're like, dude, let's pay tribute to Sizzla on that yeah. yeah, amazing chorus and hook. Yeah, and then from there we just like, yo, we need a feature because it was so smooth. Shout out to Sammy J, helped yes, on that sir. one, yes, co-wrote that one, smashed it on all the BBs. Um, I must because you you hear Sammy on the BBs. Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. the BBs sound like Sammy. That's all it is. That's all it is, Sammy. Yeah, yeah. And it's like turn it up, turn it yeah. up. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, Sammy, it's a lot. Killed that one. <laughs> yo, I got a question. Is so as far as Sizzle's part that you guys redo. Does he get some type of? Anything oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we always royalties. make sure. Yeah, yeah. We make sure we like. Because you don't want to get on Sizzler's bad side, how DJ uh, Khaled did. Oh, I mean, oh no. my gosh! <laughs> no, that's not. We'll just say that. Dude. Yeah, uh, we went to the proper channel. And so it was sure. it wasn't yeah, another was one. <laughs> yeah. No, but tell us tell us how the uh, came up came about with Kabaka. Grammy Award oh, big winner, dude, big but shout dude. out Kabaka. Oh, that was Uncle Louis. Tell him about that. Um, that one I just you know reached out on. What was that on IG? IG, maybe or, Facebook or Meta. wow, MySpace, or MySpace. Oh, you guys had linked up before that already. We we knew each other, we, but yeah. that, like not you know not really. And then, no and then but up. we oh. had respect, like mutual respect yeah. for for each other's. Um, when we were at uh, Reggae Rise of Maryland, yeah. Yeah. Um, he jumped we, on. Yeah, he he. Could we you asked be loved? Him, you know, jumped on our set for could you be loved? And and uh, we were talking to management. and They're like, dude, we really. Like we really vibe with you guys. Yeah. And so and he hustled, there, bro. Yeah. yeah. He hustled, man. Yeah. No, he he's, has a good he's camp. out there. He's got his, great his camp is camp, pushing yeah. him out there. Like, like, so we respect that, you know? Um, and so when we were going through, we we're like, dude, this would be dope with Kabaka, because you know, he was telling us he was a he's a rapper too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and to give him a platform of like, dude, I can actually rap this. Yeah, and when he sent his uh, uh his verse. top line on his verse, I was like, yo, yeah, we sent him the song and then what? he was like, yo, I'm on. I'm in. So was that collab before he won the Grammy? Or was it after? Yeah, 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 it was before. before. Oh, before. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The price, the price, the price yeah. wasn't up there. The we price wasn't up there. Yeah. No. It wasn't Grammy well, price. Right, 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 right. I was like, publish it. Hurry, hurry, yeah. hurry. We had, him, we had him on the podcast on the Jim yeah. Rock Cruise. Oh, oh And it was right. like right before the Grammys. So, yeah. Yeah. That and is we were telling him. Yeah, Cisco told him, like, yo, next time we see you, it's going to be Grammy Award winner. And he was like, oh, yeah. And we just seen him recently at a show at Midway that we do with Chloe Kai. And we were like, dude, see, we exactly what we said happened, happened. Because he no. was like, bro, that's crazy how you and Wes, we called it. Wow. We said, dude, the next time we talk to you, you're going to be a Grammy Award wow. winner. Well, let's so, manifest that yeah, now with a celebration. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Put that in 
and that's a good what question. Do you say that? that segues yeah. into like, does this album qualify to actually be into the Grammys for this year? Yes, yeah. that was a big. Because I know there's a process, right? Yeah, yeah. We just made the Grammy cutoff. This is going to be submitted to the Grammy uh, Award. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do you the call it? Committee. Uh, committee. And so we made sure of it. Yep. So me and Wes will just call it now. The next time we have you guys on the podcast, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it will be Grammy okay. Award <laughs> winning. Oh, it might be next year. And the price will still be the same. The price will still be the same. We'll mix right after. Hey, don't yeah, say that. Cut that out. Cut that out. Sorry, sorry. We'll cut that out. Speaking of Jamrock Cruise, hey, let us know whenever you guys want to call me King. That part. Good shout out out there. Well, like, even with Kabaka, you talk about Royal Blue, like, tell us about the these other features you guys have on the album. Oh, yeah. 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 Man, everybody we didn't know yeah. just kind of fuck with us. They're like, yeah. yo, yeah. we're dope. Like, let's do it. We're independent. We're not a major label. We're just kind of running our own ship. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody else was the same. Royal Blue was, was the same when he was um, in Jamaica. And we are like, yo, I think this record would fit for him. So we literally had a graph. Yeah, yeah we did and, our research. And we did yeah. our research. Like, yeah. what would be better, you know, for who, what, yeah, what vibe. And it was dope, like, man. Yeah. Artists. And we Different asked, artists, like, yeah. like, you know, who would vibe. And, you know who are good people and Royal stuff like Blue. that because because we didn't have one feature on Lost yeah. in Paradise, so yeah. we purposely did this to make sure we can. And that was stack. the difference yeah. too, because I think Lost in Paradise was like, like this is us. Yes. Now let's get our collaborative efforts with our collabs yeah. and all that too. And so far, so good. Everyone loves it. Yeah. yeah. Spread love on the same song. What came up? Oh bro, yeah. yeah, spread love. Bro, Manu from Spain. Bro, yeah, killed. And he was just a top liner. He was yeah. supposed to. We just kept it. And I was like, oh, let's see who can be on it. And then we're like, yo, man, this verse is really fire. <laughs> yeah, Why don't we just keep it? Yep. And a big feature also. That surprised a lot of people was the Boog one on Ragamuffin. Like, hey, when they heard yeah, that one, they were yeah. like, "Oh shit!" And Boog just bro. came in there hard. How did that even come about with Boog? Wes, big shout out to you. Hey, 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 what a nice setup there for your partner. That's a great setup. That's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. I see that. Still Magic Johnson pass right there. James Worthy. Tell us all. You know what? Tell us how Wes, how you had a little part in that to to get that with Boog and the boys. Well, Matcha was hitting me and um. I just, you know, relayed the message. Yeah. And I had actually played Boog the song before that. Previously. Like way before that. I remember. And he was digging it. He was like, yo, that shit's fire. Yeah. So I had a feeling he might Yep. He might jump on. And then yeah. they bro, let's run it. So actually oh, at Cali yeah, Roots. Big shout out, it was at Cali Roots. Yeah. At Cali Roots. Yeah. Yeah. When no, there was I'm, a lot of alcohol again. <laughs> yeah. So weird. Things it's happen. Alcohol has a lot to do, yeah. you know, with you one know, shot, two shots. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some people brings us together, other people start yeah. fighting. Yeah. Hey, Dan, Shan, remember that after party with you at Oh god, so moving on to the next one. There was a cup and then you were drinking and all these things. You know, no. number nine being my favorite song, we got to talk about this collaboration, how it came about. Mata <laughs> had called me and was like, oh my hey, gosh. we want to have you on, on a song. So me, excited as I am, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm either going to sing or I'm going to rap. So I'm at the house before I even go out to Orange County. I'm like, okay, so if they want me to rap, I can do this. If they want me to sing, I might do this. I get there, they're in their studio mode. I see, I, I, what's up, Rome? Normally it's like, he's like, how you doing? Just get to the mic. I'm, okay, hey, what's up? He's like, how you just go to the mic? Like, so, so nobody was fucking with me right at that point. So as soon as I said, okay, guys, what do you want me to do? I'm ready. Verse, I got a hot eight, I got a hot, hot 16. Hot eight, 16. Was, what's a notepad and this pen for? What are you showing me these lyrics for? They play the song, and I'm like, dude, this is a party track. And then Mata goes, duh, that's why you're here. I'm like, hey, first of all, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> I'm going to punch you right in the face. So as I'm listening yeah, yeah. to the track, I'm, I'm trying artist. to hear where my part is. I'm like, they want me to do some fat man scoop in this moment. <laughs> no. So he goes, no. hey, you know, like DJ Khaled, I said, Mata, <laughs> yeah, I got you. So JR is like, you ready? I'm like, well, I just walked in, Harley. You, know, you got this. We're going to reach around or something first. Hey, one, one there's take no, Jake, though. Like there's <laughs> no open bars. There's the whole here, song. So there's, the song goes. And I'm like, this, so where do I come in? <laughs> and we, you know what? The more I listen to it, I was like, dude, this is a party track. And then yeah. me and Wastava's favorite part, because right when we started, I said, ooh, wait. Yeah. 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 And it went that through that. So you. And you guys cut it up, and we did it. And like, Dude, we still play that during our sets, and that song already Bro, was like the party the vibe. Party started, for yeah. So we definitely got to get a video shot for that soon because I got the treatment and everything for oh, that. I see that. Besides the point. Just tell us where to show up. We'll yeah. be I'm yeah. telling you because yeah. we're going to do it at the Island Vibes party of Palms. Talk to Palms that if we do that. Yeah. Yeah. See you in Palms. <laughs> now that you guys had that whole celebration, now it's it, you guys release it. You guys get these out. You guys kind of get Now it's a month out. You guys are on tour. Like, mm -hmm. Have you guys really, it really hit you guys as a whole to kind of say, man, you guys actually put out a dope product. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, finally it did. 
we're like, okay, cool. We're pretty proud Bro, from the get. The moment we end our whole set, you see that. We blast celebration right yeah. after we do No Other Love and X-Men. And the whole Everyone crowd goes yeah. nuts, yeah. bro. Crowd singing it. Oh, I was like, yo, this is actually... And we thought celebration was kind of... The, it was the real pop yeah. one. You know what I mean? And then we didn't know if that was going to hit, hit so well. But everyone loved it. And they were playing celebration in Hawaii radio. You don't hear records like that yeah. on Hawaii radio. Absolutely. So I was like, yo, this is working out. Shout so out to Big Cole one time. Shout yeah, out Big Cole, man. Big Cole, the illegitimate twin brother. That's going to be like, yeah. he's the why, most why big, big body. <laughs> but you know, we go into he's a that. Fit body. I don't want to give away... Um, Cause I want people to come see the show, but you guys kind of did a rendition of City of Champions that was on the album that you guys had there. Where you know through the process of you guys releasing a new album and getting ready for the tour, Lahaina hits. You know the tragic stuff that mm. happened out in Maui. How did that guy kind of hit you guys? Because we have deep. I remember all of us being in Maui. You know playing yeah. basketball at, oh, over bro. there and doing yeah. all that. Yeah. So it kind of hit the all Mac. of us hard. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. how did that kind of like put a stop or a halt to what you guys were doing? Because not to say that it brought like a gray cloud over what the celebration was but you guys had to adjust at that point how for something as a band like you who has such strong roots in maui how will you guys have to pivot and do from the go from there well i mean like we it's something that just came natural you yeah. know mm -hmm. um just because it, it it hit it hit home um you know a lot of like family close family friends um were deeply affected and will be deeply affected for yeah. continue you know, yeah for mm -hmm. the next few years and so um <clears throat> yeah it was a no-brainer yeah we were already talking about it like dude we got to change you know yeah so and then um you know we're just thankful that we have a very very strong team you know uh shout shout out to to reed and yeah and the family that uh you know they boots on the ground like three days in they're they're already assessing and yeah. giving us the feedback you know while we're out preparing for tour um and letting us know like well, hey, we're out damaging is... hotels yeah. <laughs> yeah no we weren't doing that no. <laughs> not yet that's a quarter <laughs> <laughs> well with the videos coming soon yeah. we'll have to play the clip oh my no but it, i mean it, it really was and you know it definitely deserves like you know i think a lot of it's just like most a lot of like natural disasters right like yeah we i mean let's just be honest like when they happen and it doesn't hit home you know we're thinking about them but we're, you know, we soon forget about them. Until you know? it hits home. Until yeah. it hits home. And then you realize, Absolutely. like, all the layers yeah. that go into it that, 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 that are affected and how it gets, you know, assessed and, and who, gets, who gets to do what and what gets to do, yeah. you know. Then you realize, like, yo, this is way deeper than anybody Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. can imagine. Well, because the adaptability for you guys to be preparing for tour and kind of like having the album release where you guys kind of say, okay, we we can't do what some of the things we were going to do because now you guys have to address it because it hits so close to yeah. home. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, that's why, you know, when we said that there's no way we can be out on tour with a name of the tour called Celebration Tour. Yeah. So obviously the album Because we weren't feeling very celebratory. We yeah, <laughs> celebratory. No, absolutely. Yeah. So literally in the middle of our four-day lockout, usually you have a lockout rehearsals for four days going into tour. We are just like, okay, what are we going to do? And then City of Champions came. We met us two. We're like, okay, we got to change something. We have to create awareness because people are going to forget. Yeah. Sure enough, they are starting to forget. Absolutely. And then so we'll be in the middle of Philadelphia or Boise and people are just like, dude, from Hawaii, there's a small Hawaii community raising their flags and they're saying thank you so much for doing what you do, still creating awareness because people are forgetting. So trying to do that and use our platform to still let people know this is going to take a very, very long time. Yeah. And for us to hit that. And when we got there, that was the biggest thing. From yeah. Kona, we decided to hop over to Maui. And <clears throat> I mean, this was absolutely the most devastating thing yeah. we've ever Witness. Yeah, we weren't prepared, man. We weren't yeah. prepared. Because that's all. definitely I mean, what I wanted to touch on next. Yeah. Because after the corner show, you, I mean, it was kind of like out of nowhere. Like you guys said, you know what? Let's go to Maui. Yeah. You know, talk to us. Let's set this up where. I mean, it's not you guys were going out there to just kind of do a whole show. No. You guys kind of strategically said, no. look, let's go out. And so tell us how how that came about and how you guys went to these you know places that were that you guys performed and actually how the response was. You know, uh, well, like you said, we you know we didn't go out there to do a show. We went out there to you know because. Support to just, support yeah. where we can in our lane and 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 offer up yeah. what what we can because there's so many people you know trying to overstep their boundary like for yeah. us we're musicians where you know we, we put out music and and people relate to it and yeah. they grow up with it and so for us it was like you know let's go out there let's show the support you know and the solidarity man yeah. like 
the, the community out there. Your mom oh, was crazy. Like, is, no, you know, our good friend Keely Brown, um, when we got there, they said they're like, Mots. And, you know, it's like, the pigeon is heavy. Yeah. I was like, Mots, bro, it was nuts, bro. It was yeah. like the wild, wild west for the first 10 days. Yeah. I was like, what? There was no food, no water, crazy. no help. And he said, bro, no, there was no, no FEMA, no, nobody was there. It was just us. And you know who came together was the community. Yeah. yeah. The community was who rallied together to help each other out. And from that, they created these little pods. It was like a movie, bro. Yeah. It looked like Beirut. Like villages. It didn't look. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It looked like, yeah, just the villages. And you, you'd see like a perfectly normal area and then just right next door, everything tarnished. Yeah. They said it was like. Imagine a flamethrower, uh, what do you call it, a blower? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like 170, like a torch, yeah, yeah, low torch, 170 miles per hour, and just That's blew crazy. everything out. Yeah. It was insane. It was so heavy. And, you know, when they were saying, the people, the, what tripped us out was that even when they lost everything, all these people were still giving their support and, you know, fought love, love. like they're yeah. just helping serving out, us serving, us. serving us. Like they, they, they didn't, that they did, like they didn't lose just yeah. everything. Cause you guys also have to like, you guys have to tread lightly well because in those situations, if you guys do go over there, you have the naysayers that say, oh, they're just here to get, you know, you know, social media content and stuff like that too. Oh, that's exactly well, you what you guys like kind of said, look, let's play we didn't want to perform. No, absolutely. We're like, we're here, we want to help support and everything. We're like, what? And then they're saying that, dude, you don't understand, Mata. the community leaders like, dude, the one thing these people need is just an escape. Yeah. A piece some money and that's what you see them a little bit yeah, of healing yeah. and we're like really we don't feel right and comfortable but you know what then we did we're like let's get together we put on all of us put on our sunglasses yeah because yeah. there is no yeah. way we it were getting dry that. eye but it was it was so heavy i that was probably one of the hardest performances that i've we've all experienced yeah. i can hear it in jr's voice ch ch choking up yeah. i said let's do this you know for everybody let's just enjoy it and bro the fact that you see it was like a choir yeah, of these guys us. Yeah. behind us singing, singing skank at the twenty four seven like, top of their lungs, and then all of a sudden, Josh and two was like, "Dude, every guy behind you just lost everything. all their homes, yeah, everything. everything, lost everything. everything. Yeah. What?" And they're coming to us like, "Dude, you don't even know what you guys did for us, bro. You guys just gave us that healing for the moment and yeah. choking up. I mean, yeah. all the stories. It's endless stories. People are still what lost yeah. right now. Yeah. Over yeah. thousands yeah. people still missing." Cause you see that because that that joy that you guys brought to that was probably like the the most joy they've seen in a while since the tragedy that happened. Yeah, and, to and the see that, even the it. kids like it was sad seeing the kids have such a good time with you guys. Where just imagine what they were going through oh, yeah. prior to that. Like it, Bro, it, it breaks your heart. That was the hardest. Yeah, definitely the hardest part for me seeing the yeah. kids in the front, like some of them like just closing their eyes, singing, and and dancing and smiling. You yeah. know, and also thinking about. What they just went through yeah. a few days later, oh, before, oh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was crazy. But now mm. that you guys have this, you know, you guys went to Maui, kind of did your thing, and you, now, you know, everyone gets back to work. Where you guys kind of made it and took it upon yourselves to say, hey, let's kind of make a stance where celebration tour is cool, but we got to make this the road to Maui. How was the decision with that made? Yeah. Oh, that one was a pretty easy decision. Yeah. That yeah. was like, you know, we got to change the name, and then I mean, road to Maui just only, you know, two was like, what about road to Maui? Yeah. It's like, that makes that's perfect. Yeah, you know yeah. because uh, everything like you know on this tour from our meet and greets everything like that it's it's all about bringing awareness, and it's not just bringing awareness like oh look let's let's raise a bunch of money and then we don't know where it's gonna go. Yeah, you know um, we you know had the privilege of sitting down with um, you know community leaders, uh, well respected community leaders, Uncle um, Archie, Kalepa. yeah, un uh, un Uncle Archie and. You know, he shared with us his, you know, like where things are. It's it's a lot heavier because, you know, in in anywhere else, you know, like here in Cali, you know, we have fires. Yeah. You yeah. know, people lose their house. They're like, ah, that, you know, the insurance goes and then they, they could pick up and move. Yeah. But it's different. You know, when we're talking to them, like it's it's generational. You can't yeah. just pick up and move because that's. That's where your grandma, your great grandma, yeah. everybody is, is, is was there on that, yeah. you know, piece piece of land. So. Um, he spread some some knowledge. Oh, like you know the deep, way he put it was um, we we got to. I mean, it was it, like I said, a movie. When you got there, this Uncle Archie was so highly ex respected, and the way he had put it, um, I kind of wrote it down a little bit. Yeah. He said it was like, um, there's a vision of making Hawaii a better place, and then he said, I was paraphrasing. But before this, there's a voyage, and we we have to get ready for this voyage. And we're like, bro, what yeah. the voyage? And then he said, you have to organize and create this sale plan that everyone can come together and agree on, the state and the community. 
And he was trying to say, he's like, bro, I'm not saying that everyone, like, the, the, you know, the state, the, the, the state is at fault or the government. They're yeah. just like the community. It's hard for the community to trust them. Absolutely. And so it's just like, what are we going to do? He said, okay, then this, this is what he said. He said, think, the, okay, think about this. The only way is putting on your grandmother and your two month year old baby on a canoe. Imagine you're taking this canoe and you sail off. You're putting them on, putting them on. Think long and hard about everything that you want on this sail plan to make it right. Because they may never come back. If you miss one thing, there is a change and uh, that's going to change everything and it's going to fail. So metaphorically, he's saying people understand we're voyagers. We yeah. understand. Find new land and that's what we get there. We know what to do. So he said the biggest thing is love and protect your land. Love and protect your family. Love and protect your community. It's that simple, but it's yeah. the most... It's the hardest thing to do. And that's what Hawaii is experiencing right wow. now at a whole old time level. And people you have are to forgetting. Be selfless. You yeah, got to be selfless. Like money cannot motivate you. No, yeah. it has to be that the pure, like that pure uh, love of, of and protection of your land. Because people are there family, for self gain as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's got to be that. Moment. And when you say so people heavy. are out there for self gain, you see it like, you know, in the news, social media and everything that we see that has to do with the tragedy where there's some self gain in other instances where you know we don't know because we're just seeing what we see. But when you actually are there at, at in in Maui oh, bro. and seeing it you, first on the ground, firsthand, it's crazy. It is. Yeah. I, well, I mean, and then like there's hundreds of stories. Uh, but but our brother Luis, who's great friends, with, we call him Buddy. It, he said that you know, Mata, I was in the the South the Pacific Ocean at oh, 4 p.m. Geez. Wow, and then it, the, the hardest thing for me is knowing that I'm treading water for nine hours, trying to figure out who I'm going to save, Damn. because whoever I don't, I know they're probably going to lose their life, and I was just like, what is going on right now? Yeah, um, and then from there it was just when you're hearing all these stories, you're getting choked up. You're like, okay, as a um, a platform that we have, how are we going to help our people? It's just like if it was Samoa, Fiji, yeah. Tonga, any of them. But this one hit home because Hawaii was the one that put Common Kings on the map. Yeah. So it, it was only right we needed to change it to the Road to Maui Tour, change everything. All the proceeds that everyone that has goes into our VIPs yeah. that, that they're paying for goes straight to Maui. Everything is going straight to Maui. And it just felt right. We It, it wasn't... If this tour was obviously before all this, you know, it would have been different. But this, we have... Um, a bigger a different sense of purpose yeah you know, whole different you know? purpose bro yeah. and so it was great and then and so grateful for you guys for us too because yeah. you know like we feel like we're making a a difference and not just like on the money side i think like on on you know infrastructure and like just the people that were connected with kinole yeah you know foundation, and yep. the but, kinole foundation and um and, and what they're doing as well you know i mean it's it's real it's not yeah you know how to because, stuff, yeah. man like and, and, and it's is hard real. to decipher yeah. through which is what? a uh, what's credible and like you know people yeah. are talking about, oh don't give to american red cross don't give to fema because we don't know where that money's going yeah. so where everybody there kind of has a different way of doing it where you know tua kind of has the background of kind of say okay Absolutely. we know where the, we know where this money's going 100 yeah. percent. i think that's the most important thing because a lot of people always want to know before they donate or before they it's have important. things that have they yeah. want to know where this money's going yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And that, that's why we created our own thing. It was like we are the ones controlling this, funneling yeah. straight to the community, straight to the people that can just make sure we can rebuild Maui or what it was. And the best thing about this, we decided to end the road to Maui tour back in Maui. So yeah. the, the end of the tour is going to go back to go and finish in Maui, and we're going to have a free concert for the community. So if Western Conference happens to be available and get a I'll call. Say, we can't wait for that. So we can't wait yeah. for that show. Actually, yeah. We're just yeah. talking about it. So yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. We I heard you might, you might have another wedding, though, in Puerto Rico. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, actually, but tell be, us about yeah. the foundation. Just before, yeah. Yeah. Let's get the foundation. We'll put it right here. <laughs> but for people who do say, okay, look, this is the actual one that we know where the money's going. Tell us more information about that so we can get the viewers to actually say, look, that's something that we can get behind, you know, whether it's buying meet and greet tickets or you guys have an actual foundation where they could donate to yeah it's a road to Road Maui. Maui. Okay. Um, and then uh, obviously in our socials the the fundraiser um, it's it, that goes directly to Kino yeah. Foundation so. and then when you go looking for Comic Kings tickets at a city near you, you click on it and then you see VIP upgrade boom that VIP goes straight to the road to Maui tour yeah yes. so you're doing something amazing you get to party and hang out with us and those these meet and greets VIPs it ain't just a step and repeat take a photo yeah. you oh, know no, no. It's, right. no, it's a party it's a party, it's a party. sometimes yeah. we get so yeah. crunk before I was like, oh shoot we still got a show oh my god I gotta stop and it's drinking. crazy because these meet and greets I think for the fans is dope because they see you guys off stage and you know oh and yeah we've been 
me and Wes walk by a lot of them, and it's yeah. like, man, you know, Monte got the speaker going. You oh, got to take shots up. with, you know, the, the the fans, and then they just kind of remember that to kind of say, man, these are some. And I think it's important in our industry where you do kind of like, you know, mingle with your fans like that. You know, it may be a meet and greet price, but still, it's going to a good cause. But you want to interact with these fans who are spending their hard earned money to come see you guys, buying mm. merch, buying tickets, and you know, tr sometimes in some cases, traveling to come see where you guys are. So that I whole interaction with you guys is just, I think it's priceless for these fans. Yeah. Well, we pride ourselves on our live shows and making sure that it's they get their money's experience. worth. Experience. Yeah. It's, it's really the whole experience. It's providing experience. We will put ourselves in yeah. our shoes. If we wanted to see a good band that we love, then like, man, we would get to hang out with them. Let's do it. Give them the whole nine, bro. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I think that speaks to why we work with them, right? Yeah. Because. 100%. That's why we work with y'all because you guys bring the party too. But we see it because we, we we see like when me and Wes do a lot of shows like when we do your guys shows we see like how much you guys care about your fans. Not saying that we other we work with other people yeah. they, they don't. Well, the production of the whole the production event, of the whole you know? thing where you guys you. cater to these fans where it's like. I see why people are returning customers. You know, there's like a return on investment type of thing yeah. where they want to see you guys every time because they know they can come either have a beer with Rome after the show or come chill with I or have him take his Pendleton off and give it to somebody. Well, it gets kind of crazy, but that's besides the point. <laughs> and where they can just sit there or is taking pictures with kids, you know, yeah. right after, right in the front row where this, we're talking about every city. We were in Oregon, Seattle, Utah, yeah. where you guys are just interacting, you know, with, whether it's ball players, whether it's families, and just telling you their stories. Oh, you know, you guys got us family through this such and such. So yeah. oh, it's just man, dope yeah. to see you guys do what you do because <clears throat> we also, as friends and family, kind of see what you guys do, you know, especially with this new album. Like, when we talk about new album, you say there's another side to it. I'm going to let Wes talk about because we have some more new music coming, right? Yes, we, yes do. we do. So let's talk about that. Go ahead, Wes. Tell them yeah. about this one. So is it a celebration part two, or you guys got another name in, uh, in mind? Calling it Juice, Juice County. County, baby. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Orange Ooh. County, Juice yeah. County. Yeah, Juice hey. County. That's real fitting. Yeah. So, so that was like the second part of this, right? Yeah. So Juice yeah. County was like, you got celebration out the way. Now Juice County. Like, tell us how this one even and came about. Actually, Juice County was written first. Yeah. It was oh, wow. first. Yeah. yeah, it was one of the first, um, like, uh, when we stepped Songs. out and everything was still on lockdown in, in Cali, we went out to Miami and, uh, you know, got together with, uh, you know, some of our boys out there. Shout out uh, Don uh, J Vibe. J Vibe. You know, Shout out J Vibe. J Vibe, bro. J Vibe. It was, it was just his beast. birthday, too. Beast, yeah. bro. So, um, and then that one, we just, you know, we went out there and we're like, you know, let's let's write about our favorite movies. Yeah. You know, so we that used, was yeah, a lot of cult classics. Yeah, so that was like the inspiration for that, and then that morphed into like a whole bunch of other things, and then we ended up with celebration album. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're like, okay, release this one first, so our fans yeah. don't get. Well, was, we that don't a, lose them. was that like a collective decision to say, hey, look, we have Juice County first, but this celebration was no, great. I mean, it actually, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't even a name. We just we just started listening. We're like, all right, cool. Like, we got all these songs. Let's start listening. And then yeah. as we're listening. We're, you know, Buckets. our filing system, we're yeah. going, mm -hmm. okay, this, this one is... feels like this, this one feels right. like this. We're yeah. going like this. Boom, boom, here, boom, boom, hideaway like... here, Angel, you know. The so other definitely thing. a method to the madness. There, there oh, was yeah. some A&R going on. Yeah, yeah, we did our own A&R. Yeah. 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 Like we do our own stunts. Big yeah. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> Everything. I just broke my wrist. <laughs> when, when can the fans expect the Juice County drop? Are you guys going to let this celebration breathe for a little bit? Yeah. I don't know. I'm anxious. Because it's breathing. Because it's celebration breathing. Well, we can We're hoping... We want to do it because the album's done. Mix, master, yeah. Jason yeah. Joshua, done. Everything. So we're looking at top of the year. Hopefully we're already starting working on new stuff. Yeah, bro. There's, there'll be a whole other show for it. So And so Juice County is more in, kind of in the vein of what Lost in Paradise was. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Uh, you know, it has that, more of like our Orange County you yeah, know, vibe. OC vibe. Yeah. Like that. That's yeah. why we call it yeah. Juice yeah. County. So yeah. it has that... You know, we've got um, Jared from Dirty Heads. Dirty Heads on us. Shout um, out to Jared. Uh, Kay Kaylin Arlen. <clears throat> shout out to yeah. Ma Shout out, Kaylin. She a beast. Yeah, beast bro. I think Kaylin's underrated. I think Super underrated. Little underrated. Sis, she's been, we've been yeah. messing with Kaylin R for a while, and I think she's like right there. She's like the coffee. Like she's the one, the bro, next oh, one. Yeah. She, her pen is yeah, she's super. Like a Lauren, she's like a little Lauren Hill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, she really is. Tone is great. Everything. So Kaylin's on the on the Juice County album. Kaylin's on the Juice County. Ellie Mack. Shout out Ellie Mack on the Juice County. Shout out Camille. Shout out Camille. That Landon song is on there, right? Yo, Landon's on that. Landon's song is on that. Let's see. Our boy Seth Regis, that he works closely with the stereotypes. Yeah. The California Day is on there, right? California's on Day, yeah. Big shout out to Swayze in the building. So it's in that lane. So we got 12 new 12 
records we got a couple that we've released before but it wasn't part of a, a body of work so we're like yo let's put this here and then see what they say so yeah. we just basically covered the whole spectrum yeah yeah, yeah. 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 it's and it's crazy because it's all like it's all our vibe it's, uh, yeah, yeah. No, totally. it's, it's all like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. whatever Especially mood we're in yeah. Like, yeah it's not like you, you have to step too far outside the box no, well and i mean that's yeah. just like queen majesty and ragamuffin were previously released yeah, yeah. they yeah. fit that yeah. exactly vibe, yeah. you know yep. exactly bro so they so were happy with that speak one. Speak on who's who's the. Uh, I know we said Don Corleone and J Bye, but who else produced on Celebration and also in Juice County? Our boy. Um, wait, who else produced? I know our other writers was. Um, like stay with me. Who did that? Jonathan one? Sanders. Ooh, stay yeah, who stay did with Stay with me? Roby. 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 Miami. From Miami. Miami. I be sending. Roby. I be sending. Stay with me to. I mean, I'm, yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I just almost caught myself. <laughs> 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 I be sending it to my family. I'm like, this is my favorite song. But that stay with me. Tell tell Whoa. us about that track. Let's get into this. Art right, loves that track. Yeah, All right, man, tell me a little about it. One of my favorite I tracks love, off yeah. the album. Um, yeah, shout out to Yo Fred. Yes, sir. Nino, Nino. Rich. Um, Who are those people? Uh, so, these are producers, producers and, and writers. Um, okay. um, all from I Miami, thought they were just talking about some radio, like Fred, and they were like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show pistol star, yeah, 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 <laughs> you know, uh, LFA, yeah. LFA, Rich, is, Rich is from that Latin group, um, CNCO. CNCO. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So One of the I artists mean, from there, but um, he had he was in there, Nino, Blackie. Yep. Um, but Roby was a producer on that one, and that one is definitely a favorite. Are those one of those yeah, tracks, I like, are. when you kind of get it and you kind of hear it and you start to record it, like, oh, yeah, this is going to be the yeah. one. Bro. But I could tell yeah. the way, like, when you how you sing it. I said, like, oh, yeah, this is some, like, no, that's like, the one Even you know. ours cadence on, on Celebration, I was just like, who's that singing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's different vibe. Don't Stay with me kind of like the um, the sequel to Wade in Your Water. We kind of, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, wow. Yeah. You know okay. what I mean? That's how we were trying to treat it. It's like a story. Like, you waited in the water. Now your ass got they stay, stay, with you me. stay with yeah. me. Yeah. And you now it goes right into Wild Out. Yeah. 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 That's so funny. That was my way. That's so funny. Hello. Okay. Okay. So Shameless plug is the worst. <laughs> How did that just transition to Wild Out? All roads lead back yeah, to Wild Out. All roads lead back to Wild Out. Go get that number nine on the new album. It's the best song on the album. But tell us like how you guys are road to Maui. Now you do have Celebration. Now we have Juice County in the mix that are coming up. Now when you guys are talking about touring for next year, does it has to change the game where you say, okay, now we're starting doing Celebration. Now yeah. we start doing Juice Kind of like, how does that kind of affect the way you guys are doing tour now? Because we've seen, you know, you guys have doing the Wade in Your Waters, the No Other Loves, where you guys have to put these songs, handpick each one that's going to say, okay, this is going to work on tour. This is going to work on that. Like, is this going to be a whole new tour that we haven't seen Comic Kings do in a while? I think that's yeah. the plan. Yeah. yeah. That is the plan. Yeah. That's 100%. the plan. Oh, you... We were talking about it. We're like, yo, it's like, we're going to have to open up for ourselves <laughs> at this point. Dude, like, I was telling the guys. Take ourselves on tour. There was, um, <laughs> my brother went to go see John Mayer a couple years ago. He said, Mott, you got to check this out. I was like, what? He's like, dude, this guy opened up for himself. I was like, what? He said there was a, there was a three. <laughs> but he said he had two openers, and it was just, it was John Mayer solo, and then he had the John Mayer trio, and then the John Mayer wow. band. He had Five hours of just John Three Mayer's talent feeds. Three, yeah, three yeah. talent feeds. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping it in house. Yeah. So yeah. I, can, I used to see Western Triple Conference. is like, okay, yeah. so West Stop is going to start yeah. the five. That's his own talent feed. Cisco's going to do, this ooh, is, yeah, yeah. 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 We, got, we got instrumentals then, lined up for Cisco. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, instrumentals and it's just him. No, but it was dope. We're like, dude, yeah. we I, we remember when we were just touring off of one song. Oh, it was man. just alcoholic. Yeah. They wanted to book us Those for a 45-minute set, and the rest were just covers. We were terrified. We fooled everybody for the first few years of Car our career we're like what really and then now song. we have so much music we're like yo where are we gonna put everything you know who could open this new celebration tour not too soul might be a <laughs> hey <laughs> not too soul can because i to this day when our first podcast released and people would say i mean i didn't know about that people oh were actually God, still asking, talking about that they said hey do you think there's any not too soul merch i said let me talk to ivy we might get that going <laughs> get a few not too soul shirts oh my God. But we might do a you know christmas um what do you call special. it? Special with Not Too So, formerly Dude, known as Did you guys have <laughs> original Not Too So music? Yeah. Yeah. So what, what? You know what was one of them? Fly. Fly. Fly wow. was the only song that made it through the transition from Not Too So to Comedy King. Yep. Yo, hold yeah. up. See, that was, all that shit he was talking a minute yeah. ago. Hey, hey, I'm a Not Too So fan. Hey, now. hey let's go. Fly to this day. Bro, I know. And to you, Dante Wilder to this day yeah. is one of my favorite tracks. Bro, that is one of our favorite yeah, yeah. records. And that was a not too That's soul. That's a not too soul song. That was officially our first that? song. We wrote that we, one we in wrote Norms. That, we produced that. We wrote that in Norms. It was a wow. girl that hurt one of us and they said, fuck this bitch. Hey, I, I ain't gonna lie. What, what, are you did you? Not that I don't want to keep rubbing you all, but you did your on fly. 
I'll be practicing fly in the shower sometimes. I don't sound like R, of course, but that that whole thing was like I, I always thought of Fly as a mainstream hit. Bro. Like right. worldwide appeal. Like that it's, song yeah. right there can resonate with any demographic. Bro, that was a one take too. Wow. JR, back when, in the day. Remember when we did that? And, dude, yeah. JR back when I just don't, don't sound like this. No, yeah. <laughs> dude, JR smashed that. Everyone was like, yo, who is it? They all thought he was Mayuli. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Because it's crazy because that song could be used, you know, in a breakup. Because his song could be used in a death. Absolutely. Um, and I've seen people like do renditions of it where we it's played crazy. it at how many funerals? Are. Yeah, see, you know that's what I mean? crazy. It's crazy. And weddings, and weddings, and weddings, weddings of course. Man, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I heard a couple of demos from R back in the day that uh, in the archives somewhere. Fire, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Don't be sleeping on my, my boy R. Oh, I'm gonna sleep on R, man. man. I heard some fire. Take <laughs> primo shot for shot right here. Shot for shot right here, boy. Is this just a prop? What's going on? No, no, no. We pop that open. But R, I think on celebration, we just talking about your range, like. Tell us when you go from a song like just one of those days, and then you go to a celebration. Like you see where you go with it. Like tell us for something like an artist like you. How do you say, okay, I gotta sing it this way on this song, and just have that range. Like tell us about how where that where that came from. I think just going through it, like throughout the years, being able to, we're a very eclectic band. We've yeah. done so much, so many different genres, um, and then you know going over the, the 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 delivery and everything with the the fellas and yeah. The, um, so just being able to. Like pull all all of those influences, and and give what the record needs. Because it's not like you mimic an influence. It's like <clears throat> you kind of take it and make it your own. Hundred percent. Right. Into a yeah. fact where it's like exactly. It's not. Oh, you know how some artists. I'm not gonna say any, but they kind of sound like too yeah. much like how the who they mimic. Yeah. With R, he kind of makes it his own. Where like, in, in prime example, Fly, prime example, just one of those days. Prime example, stay there. Like all these. Yeah. These when you, you hear it, do, like you, you know that's you Junior know King. Yeah. That's Junior King. And even when you do, so people don't know when you do live. When you, when you do the live show, it t it sounds just like the album. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why people be tripping, be like, dude, this dude boy R. A lot of people for the first half thought you was lip syncing. <laughs> and I say, hey, I went there and I looked. And that boy ain't lip syncing. <laughs> <laughs> I went there and I looked. And every because, time after the show, the R, come on, yeah, yeah, I got the girl, come <laughs> sing, sing with him. We've done so, so private check, Seattle, check, 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 Seattle when the power went out. Oh yeah! So the power went out, R bro. It was just like Eddie Kane Jr. He took the mic. He was like, "Look, everyone, went, the, the man went, went out." And he started house. doing crazy <laughs> and all this stuff like that. Where you guys are waiting for the power to go yeah. back on, and it's crazy how it shows where you guys are pissed, obviously, because I seen um, um, Ivan. He was like, "Dude, but you guys get it to say, okay, you want to do this? We're gonna give you a show." Sound or no sound, because yeah. it was just the side fills that were on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you guys did crazy. Like, tell us how you guys kind of just adapt to that and put. I call that audible right away, because we were saying right when we heard the power go up, he and was like, "Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, because we went right into the pit. Like, we were right, right, right as that happened. Pit. Oh my god! And right gosh. when it went out, me and Wesley, they said, "Well," and then all of a sudden, it was like just like that. You, I was like, all right, let's do yeah, it. Let's, I was on you know, it. let's do how we did under the bridge. And you yeah. did a whole thing where you start getting into crazy. You guys start going, and you guys are just already totally with the crowd. And then when it finally comes back on, where the power gets on, now everyone's starting. Now it's like seamless transition. So, like, tell us how that even happens. So I have a talk back, and then I Jr. is like, I don't know that the power is out, and it's yeah. early in the set. And then he's like, yo, I don't, and then all I see is this bass player <laughs> just like, oh, 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 I was going crazy. Oh, oh, I was like, hey, he brought his hair out, he took the rubber band. That? What is that? going on? I said, is he turning into a werewolf? <laughs> Is he turning into a I werewolf? Said, I said, Ivan, no, no other loves at the end. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> and I was like, what? There's something He's wrong. like, no, Ivan, you're not getting a mic. Yeah. Get but him a drink. What happened in that moment, Ivan, to make say, were you just pissed at, at oh what was going gosh. on? Or you took it upon yourself to kind of say, this is what we're going to do? No, I mean, we've been in situations before. Like, we like were, that, like, yeah. In, in Kona. Yeah. You know, when the power went out, you know? So for us, it's like, look, the audience... Like you put yourself in the in, in their shoes, yeah, right? As a patron, and and you're there, you're watching. Like you paid good money to come see, it, and if you see if they're struggling, your natural thing for us anyway, you want to help. Yeah. So how do you help? You want to sing along. So what we've discovered is like you start a song that they already know. Yeah. They're gonna run with gonna it. The show it they're must gonna sing go it with you. On. Come on. And it's yeah. crazy because we've seen it on it's so many other acts too. Like, yeah. you know, like artists will come on and they'll say, like, I'm so sorry, my voice is a little bit bad. Yeah. And then that's the crowd gets way hyped. They're like, yeah. well, I'm gonna sing for you. They you throw know? that yeah. disclaimer and they feel yeah. like I'll help yeah. you. Help you. Yeah. 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 So you're I mean, off a little bit, but it's okay. In that in that <laughs> moment, that's what that was. Yeah. You know, that was just like 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 frick, the show goes on. I don't, you know, like 
It's so not we, our fault. Yeah. We don't need speed. You know? yeah, the guitar, <laughs> we're not the always been up. a show must go on type band. Yeah. 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 It takes us back mm-hmm. to the uh, unaware porn thing that you guys did that you didn't know when there was dicks hanging. The show went on. Show you know, home home where are you going back with all this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're bringing up old shit. Episode, it was man. him new with episode. Craigslist just Listen. came out and he was a Craigslist whore <laughs> and that's all you want. He's like, I hey, lived and died on Craigslist for a long time. Palms Vegas. Now it's Facebook Marketplace. But, that, oh, but is that man. instances like that kind of help you in those instances that just happened, right? A hundred percent. Because you guys have to be ready at, at all times Rolling for what's going to happen. Yeah. Because yeah. you guys roll with the punches, whether it's no sound, whether no. it's, you know, the drum kit goes out, something, you guys kind of have that adaptability where it's like, yeah. okay, we got to pull Let's audible go. right away. Absolutely. Yeah. We be calling yeah. audibles all yeah. the time. Sometimes Alcoholic. Sometimes when you yeah. have gout in your right hand, <laughs> you got to play left hand. Bro, I must tell you a story. Tell us the story. Because I'm a fan of gout story. Where are the cherry yeah, pills? This is you, actually cherry. You gotta um, set this one up. This is <laughs> you no. Know, you um, have to set this up. Okay, what? Okay, what was the tour? It was it was sublime. sublime tour. It was sublime. We were Soja. somewhere in Wichita. Or yeah, yeah, somewhere in Wichita. In but a zoo. he was. Uh, it was locked. His knee was so locked, and he was yeah. coming out. He couldn't move. I said, "Oh Lord, have mercy." <laughs> I said, "We have a show to do." And one he said, heavy roadie Friday. I can't. He said, "Yeah, heavy roadie Friday." He said, "Months, I can't move." It's locked. literally. It's it's locked. Like, I love so, your explanation for that. People that have gout understand when it locks. You can't. You can't. So. He's like, yo, we gotta and move. And then my drum, man goes, drums what? Yeah, Doku comes right-handed, up to me. He's right? like, don't even worry, I got it. And he said, what? He's like, switch the whole drum set. What? Wow. Make it a left handed kit. Sits, he sits the whole, picks the whole left handed kit. Everything. Everything. Never missed my, a mind beat. you. He hasn't played like that in years. Years, yeah. bro. Yeah. Or <laughs> ever. You got to switch everything. He's and never he played ne- like that. Bro, bro, no, the no. whole set, left handed. And he did that for like three shows. Bro, everybody, the, the drummer for Lowe's from some Sublime, the drummer for Soja all so, came. They're like filming. They're like, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> tripping up. Didn't, skip, didn't believe what was going bro, on. Yeah, yeah, didn't skip a beat. No, I'm telling you how hard that is. Yeah. To yeah, be able yeah. to do that. But everything must go But the show must go on. Let's go. He did not miss a beat. Bro, he didn't miss a beat. Everyone was Not even one fill. Dude, everything was. I, like That's I close crazy, my eyes and I'm bro. like, dude, this thing is still. I look back and it's just backwards. Kick, I'm like, yeah. kick was on the right hand, <laughs> snare was on this hand. Everything was. That's like you like, turning the guitar upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it does. Yeah, and it's we're still not playing. shredding. It's the yeah. game. Yeah, 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 it's still shredding. Has there been an instance where you guys couldn't recover? And it was just kind of like out of your guys' hands at that one point during a show. Like when can you guys remember, remember when where I tried to jump audible, didn't jump work? off the boat? Uh, that wasn't a show. That was a, <laughs> Sorry. That was a private party. And that's right. I, I didn't think you want to bring that up. No, that's fine. We don't need to talk about that. that was, <laughs> we, but we were performing. Justin Timberlake? I mean, we, we went through Oh, that. No. Justin Timberlake. We yeah, went no, through I, that. Bro, we've, we've come. We've, we've been able to adapt, we've able man. To adapt, yeah. We've come through. We've gone through a lot. Yeah. You know, like, and, and as far as, like, even just four different, you know, humans, different you know, mindsets and, and, and attitudes and emotions. Um, the fact that we're still here going our stronger fans are than our ever, number yeah. one it's, focus. It, you know, it's a testament to 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 not only who the boys are, um, who we surround ourselves with. You know, you guys are still in our lives, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. So you yeah. know, it's like, look, like, and you're the same way, guys. We, we, like, we, we know that you yeah. are. So let's go. We yeah. roll with it. Let's yeah. go. That's why we nothing phases us, man. We yeah, we've been in so many different situations, and the outcome is always. You know, it's always about the fans. But at Marymore, at that moment, <laughs> we decided to play alcoholic because you know, you, all you need is an, uh, an acoustic guitar, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they were just singing along. The second then, they hear that note, and then I <laughs> see well, bringing a grizzly bear coming over there. <laughs> play another! Play another! He's like, oh yeah! I get, was out. Out. <laughs> get out! Get out! I was like, I was like, you know, I was like, all right, I got it. Okay. Like when, the, like when he fell down, and and yeah, I, yeah. and he looked at him and said, get out! Yeah. Get out! We gotta You're making us look bad. Oh, because Kona, because Wes Dude. has to tell this side of the story. So in Kona, and oh my we're in Kona God. doing a show. We come out during Oh No Other Love. I see Wes go straight, then he disappears. <laughs> and then I'm looking. We like, tell him about this, uh, during No Other Love, the breakdown. Come give me yeah, the next minute. So everyone's out. coming down during Fiji yeah. Books part. So as we're walking out, you know, we go crazy towards the end. So as we're going crazy, we lose Wes. And I'm looking around. We look down. <laughs> And I look at Mata, he goes, pick him up. <laughs> Get him up now. And so, he's like, wait, we're going happened? crazy. And I'm looking at him like, Get up. <laughs> Dude, his legs get stuck between the speaker and the and he's like, the he's trying to like, the stage. Help! Okay, stop. I'm being dramatic. When he fell, Wes went like this. 
I'm like, you're not gonna get he out. Came up, all the no, regiment horns like, well. <laughs> hey, no, what's see, no, you're, you're like, mistaking my story with Fiji getting stuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh my, my god. god. Holo, holo. We do the breakdown. Oh Fiji's god. there, dude. So basically, it's trying to get Fiji to go to the front and do the breakdown and all the love. So Noke, who's the stage manager for the boy, he goes, go to the middle. So I'm thinking, okay, we, I look at Feige, I'm like, we gotta go through the middle. But mind you, Feige on his car was like, okay, let's go. I was like, I don't know if that cart's gonna fit there. He bends the corner, his part starts, he's stuck. I go like this, somebody get me! <laughs> he did his Is whole that part what happened? right like, there in the back. The light was like, come give me the <laughs> And then Ryan was filming, and he's like, filming, filming, all of a sudden you see him, see him, and then he's gone. Wait, where did he go? <laughs> hey, but you know what? To, 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 to his aid, Feige's right there. While they're trying to get him out, he's like, I'm like, he's still going, though. He's still going. Show I don't know the show must go on. That is the theme for That's this podcast. And I think that goes back to the, the audibles that we call. Like, we, you know, when you guys need more time and me and Wes are doing our thing, oh, yeah. oh we got to kill more time. Like, Dude, I've seen, you know. You're on it. A lot, of, a lot of bands that we see, like, you know, sometimes they don't have that adaptability. No. And when, you know, me and Wes say, okay, we're going to go from a 10 minute set, okay, we'll do 10 minutes, where it turns into a 30 minute set. Yeah. Where we kind of, kind of still, because the people are there, like, we're entertained. Mm-hmm. And I think that's something that we uh, kind of take pride in, and you guys as well, is that we're trying to give a show, a full show. Right. But we don't want to make sure they don't ever see a sweat. No. So even when I go back to, to Wes, I'm like, how much longer? He's like, 15 more minutes. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, Mata, you ready? Right, he's like, like 10 more minutes. Fuck no, him. so in Utah, right, we had 10 minutes on the, on the, on the day sheet, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I was like telling sis, I said, bro, there's no way. They're going to change over in 10 minutes. Because I'm it. over there. We only got 10 minutes. I'm being pissed. Yeah. We only got 10 minutes. I'm we, like, bro. Hey, well, Wes, we came here for 10 minutes. I'm like, no. <laughs> Relax. He would do more bro. than 10 minutes. <laughs> he's not like this guy. Yeah. Once it comes up to me, Wait, he, goes, he goes, you probably get a little bit more than 10 minutes up. So I'm like, you know, we need at least 20. We need 15, 20 to get. He's like, no, so. An hour and a half later. Wes goes, don't worry, bro. 45 <laughs> minutes later. I'm like this. How many more? So? <laughs> he's like, how, how you like those 10 minutes? <laughs> I was like, and you know what I gotta say to, to Wes he be the coolest dude out there bro cause I'm the one that, and I go back to him because I walk behind him and talk to him I'm like well, how much longer <laughs> and he looks at me he's like I'll play another one I'm like okay first of all don't talk to me like that <laughs> don't talk bro. calm to me like that <laughs> second of all stop back to like you got to cause I'm losing it right now <laughs> but I'm you like guys, Ivan you guys don't make it look so me. amazing and the show must go I on I see a video I go from Gustafa and I'm, I'm like yelling and right back to the crowd I'm like hey and like change no, no. It's so, an art, dude. Yes. You guys, it it, it, to keep the crowd of a, to have a master dude, ceremony like that. Which no, it's funny because I'll be telling him what's next, and he can't hear me, so I gotta yell it at him. <laughs> oh and I'm like. And then one time, so I get mad at Wes because I feel like it's his fault that I can't Every hear time, him. Yeah. So he's like, oh, this is next. I'm like, what? And I'm talking about full, like, about to fight. But as soon as we face the crowd, hey! Yeah. <laughs> but it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it is. I hate you. Because I go, there's sometimes when we don't agree. Like, I'll be like, oh, play this song. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, let's not do this song. Play the fucking song, right? <laughs> so I see you guys kind of like, not where you guys are, 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 you know, arguing with each other, where everybody has a role to play. Yes. Yeah. And I think with your guys' team, you know, where even from Kevo, from Sean, yeah. everyone knows their position and everyone has their role that they play. And I think it shows in these shows, because Reggae Rise, if you guys are to get into that, how do these festivals, when you guys are going into these lineups, like, you know, you got Cypress Hill, you got all these other acts that are there, to kind of say, look, are you guys as a collective saying we got to separate us from not 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 in a competitive way, but to leave your mark? How do you guys go into these big festivals that have three days and have these bands that are from all over the world to kind of say, look, this is what Comic Kings is going to do and kind of leave that lasting impression? How do you guys go into these festivals? We're going into this festival to fuck shit up, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, swinging, bro. Yeah. Straight yeah. up, swinging. Like, the best. We're not going to, you know, like we're going in because. You know, we want to, you know, put our stamp. Yeah. Like when people see oh, they Comic hired Kings, us for a reason. Yeah. yeah. And and the, the promoters, they expect that. You know, they're like, dude, we got to put them on and, and because they've been to a show and that's yeah. what we're going to give. They know our show. You yeah, know, we're, know we're definitely not going in there like, mm-hmm. oh man, you know, this is just another thing. No, every show we yeah. treat it. We we actually really do treat it. We go over the set list. Yeah, we every curate every show. show. Yeah. You know, you every know show. I mean? So like for the Road to Maui tour show, the the headline show, not necessarily is going to be the show that we're going to put for Reggae Rising. Yeah, That's absolutely. a whole different crowd. Yeah. So we go through it, we curate it. What's going to work? What isn't? They just want to have a good time. It's a daytime show. It's um, outdoors. They're going to be drinking. They just want to party. Hit yeah. it. Hit it and quit it. So that's what we go through depending yeah. on what it is. Some people say we overthink it, but it's like 
No, we put ourselves in you're fan pride. shoes. You're putting your pride. Yeah. You know, we're putting yeah. ourselves yeah. in fan yeah. shoes. Yeah. Like, there, you know, Polly's want to hear Alcoholic. certain songs. Yeah. yeah. You know, the other crowds are like, I, I, I didn't, I didn't go back that far. Yeah. You yeah. Know, yeah. I, I'm only on your Lost in Paradise. Yeah. Album. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know these ones. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know those ones. What's <laughs> fly? Yeah. yeah. But like, you know? I'm talking about you guys have to kind of do this curate each playlist for city to city like yes your research guys you guys played this venue before you guys kind of yeah. know what they like because i kind of see you guys preparation where each show's different because you guys are saying okay we'll take this song out mm -hmm. add this song like <clears throat> as you guys go along where you guys are doing this is this be something for you guys where you guys are seasoned and polished because let's not forget you guys actually opened up for justin timberlake like is, <laughs> was doing that kind of like gave you guys that know how to kind of say look we have to adapt to each and every every crowd we entertain yeah yeah, it did that. That one, you know, 100%. that, and then just being an amazing uh, artist. Go beep your horn. You know what I'm saying? No, not us. Oh, <laughs> like we learn from him. Yeah, we like, are. You know what I mean? Yeah, yes. we are. No, we, we are. <laughs> but I'm, sorry, I'm talking about. I'm talking about Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Like what we took away from that. Yeah. Like in in addition to like yes, we had to to put on a show yeah. that was worthy of being on that. But him as an artist. And how he treated his shows. Oh, I got you. That's where what we took away. We yeah. took away like, dude, he does not fuck around. Yeah. At all. He is there when they're loading in almost. He is watching the lighting guys set up. Bro. Every single detail yeah. of the show. So you guys sponged it up from that. <clears throat> oh, so we yeah. sponged it up like yeah. I mean, we're still talking about it. We're like, dude, remember when he came out and he was yelling at the lighting guy because the oh, lighting man. wasn't like lined up, and he was like, oh, 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 he was oh, oh, yelling, like I mean, yelling. He like, stopped. Like, well, he oh. cares, you know. Yeah, he, he cares, cares so about much, it. and we saw that. Yeah, and yeah. that's good though. That was a good um, experience for you guys as an earlier yeah. group to yep. see that and and follow that example, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. And it also go like from Justin Timberlake to Bruno Mars at a low stadium. Yeah. Like what do you guys take away from these or like you, you took that away from Justin. What did you guys take away from Bruno in a low stadium? <laughs> man, Especially that being swag, a home swag, bro. Swag, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bruno just got oh, this yeah. drippy drip yeah. swag. Like he just not a care in the world. But you know, I'm I, like, And that was I the last of watching a, that him, was like man. a last of a world tour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Like, and then we notice he does everything is rehearsed and to the T, my man is the same like he just smashes it every night and everything is the same and locked and he's just got so much swag and the charisma. way he charisma yeah. Yeah. and yeah. it's just the way he the band is tight and it's not just him it's the band you know what i mean and they 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 put on a show and we he's an entertainer we, true we, entertainer. we did that too we started as a cover band we knew how to put on a show we used to do four hour gigs and so we just kind of translated that and how can we put put that on a comic king show as well and we learned from justin to bruno uh megan and all these guys yeah all these guys and we just put it together and that's what we have yeah. now and we're we're very proud of our show uh, yeah. we put a lot of pride in as a live artist you know what i mean and they pay all, money with all these like are oh, you, you being the front man for the boys like and you seeing bruno being the front man justin like do you what do you take away from these artists and kind of say okay i could take a little bit of bruno a little bit of justin mm -hmm. and put it into so like just how you do with how you sing songs mm -hmm. how do you kind of put that into your whole repertoire of doing things well if i'm being honest yeah or don't lie either so <laughs> <laughs> no nah, man like just his, just like i said his charisma bruno's charisma and his 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 uh, ability to like take the people through a journey. Yeah, with yeah. His music, you know, his his hits from back in the day to to his most current show, uh, songs. Like, yeah, he's got a a vibe and a storytelling kind of situation that he's carrying his people through. And like, so that's what I I, I pull from him. Mm -hmm. Um, and just you know trying to hone yeah. in on that like know? do you guys all do that like like <clears throat> rome do you watch other drummers for bigger bands like you know uncle louis do you watch bass players and do you watch league of Art and kind of say okay i see what they did there oh, maybe i could do it but in your own way like how does that whole process go for you guys do you guys go out and sit there and watch and kind of see some of that wrong oh yeah for sure like we'll, we'll have meetings together and we'll, we'll just watch shows yeah we'll watch how they perform we'll watch how certain artists what they do what yeah. they do different or like or the musicians too like i'll Mm -hmm. I watch all these drummers playing. You know, mm -hmm. I try to do the same thing, but in our yeah, the way you do, yeah. we're doing yeah. CK. You know, our, uh, I'd have to say that you know we grew up. Sports was a big part of our life. Football. We all played sports in Tautua, and us, we use a lot of sports metaphors. Yeah. So 
watching other artists is like watching film. Yeah. We yeah. study film through from Monday to Friday, shows on Saturday, Sunday. Okay, cool. What are we taking away from them? We put that together and then we go to rehearse, go to the lockout rehearsals, put that, what we like on it, make it our yeah. own and then put together our <clears throat> Common Kings version of that show. What's already there? And we use the live show as a template and we actually use the live show for as a template for our album as well yeah so if you press play it kind of gives you that whole vibe of what journey you're going through during our live show but we use a lot of that film watching film being ready show day is game day everyone's energy up yeah. it's, you already know what we do on yep. game day bro so and it's, it's crazy how you say sports analogy because i remember that seattle show after the show we kind of all were huddled talking about the show and then it was like Tattoo is the coach. Game ball. <laughs> game, game ball. ball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Goes out to Ivan. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like a whole team atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's just like the MVP player. I was like, oh, man, I did my MVP. <laughs> So it's crazy to, like, to use the sports analogies where it's a family affair. And 100%. Yeah. Especially when everybody's on the same page, you guys are hitting on all cylinders. Like, that's where this taken to us now. That's why we wanted to do this part two because you guys grown since the first podcast with us and you guys done so much. Like now that we have the next chapter for the next podcast, because I do say the next podcast is going to be Grammy Award winning Comic hey, Kings. Hello. Oh, so we're going to put that into the universe. <laughs> bop, bop. Before we get up oh. out of here and for the fans that are watching and then can't wait to see you guys live, what can they expect after this uh, Road to Maui tour? We're already planning the next tour. Yeah. No tour? It's already... Yeah. Already dates have been locked in. So. Festivals, yeah. you know yeah. it. Wait, I, gotta, I, I gotta ask Going something. Though. I gotta ask something before we wrap up. Yeah. <clears throat> How did you guys get the 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 Mount Aloha link, man? Because at OC Fair, you guys had a thing backstage. They're giving. Oh, don't out forget about Happy Dads too. I was about to say Happy Dads. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't have no Happy Dads. Oh, but I had the I had the the Mac Nut, uh, oh, bro, ice, ice cream. cream. Because ice you know Mount Aloha being such. A, you know, a legendary brand. Yeah, and bro, like, that's yeah. exactly what. So I'm talking. We was all raised, and you know, when you came back with a box from Hawaii with Monolo, you were somebody. Yeah, when you yeah, came right. back home. Facts, I got, right. I got, I got, oh so shoot! How did that whole thing even come about to have such a like, you know, a legendary brand like Monolo and Macadamia Nuts be a part bro. of you guys' vision and what you guys are doing? Tell us about that real quick. Because they're actually involved in some way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So they. You know, we wanted to to do something together, and I think they reached out like a few months ago. They were previous of that. They were yeah. big fans of ours. Yeah, they were, and yeah. that they were fans, and you know, just <clears throat> they were they were trying something different. To, they were launching a different their ice cream uh, their ice cream product. Ice cream and, is fire. Uh, I bought oh, fire. that. I bought that like a year or two before uh, I even saw it at you guys show. Like I remember That's when it crazy. first came out. Yeah. yeah, it was like they were running little promos for it, and mm. you know, I don't really do too much dairy, so I was like. Let me get it, bro. Fire. fire. Smacking. Right. Smacking, fire. bro. It was so good, I grabbed it and I threw it at Wes. I said, it's just fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then no. they, they brought it. They came to the studio. They're like, dude, we'd love for you guys to try out our new ice cream. So, yeah. of course, hey, we got a tour coming up. You guys want to somehow yeah. maybe do a partnership? And and then the Road to Maui thing tour to happened. They're like, dude, yeah. how can we help this Road to Maui organization the way that you guys are putting this partnership and then they basically like all right cool we're gonna put our money where your mouth is let's they jumped in with two feet bro yeah. let's do it yeah. let's this we we're gonna sponsor your whole vip thing wow. I was like, yo let's do it yeah. run it mm -hmm. and now yeah. like mauna loa is all about it we're using us as a platform to help mauna loa because they want to launch this whole ice cream line and the same thing with us because yeah. to us we're like kids in the candy store yeah. like, yo mauna loa <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i'll take that all day i was over there talking to the rep i said can i get like 17 boxes <laughs> i did this 17 boxes Boxes Stephanie is, is sleeping on a bed of Mauna Loa's <laughs> in the back of the bus. That's how many Mauna Loa's. <laughs> but I think it's a testament to like you guys. I mean, brands like that don't notice anybody without any hard work. And I yeah. think that goes to you guys for you guys' hard work that you guys have been putting in and seeing where, where you guys came from, from not too soul up to where you're at now, where these brands that we find so legendary, what we grew up on, notice the grind. And yeah. the grind knows who's grinding and who's not. Yeah. You right. kind of see that in what you guys are doing to have the monologue, to have the happy dads. And, yeah, yeah talking about know, happy dads too, though. You gotta give happy dad a shout well, out. I see, the, I see the death row jacket. Yeah. Well, you know, one. Just want to let you know, birthday, I, there's only three of, people in the whole three. world. No, no, but the birthday came out. We, I've been, I'm the, what did you call the manager of strategic relations? <laughs> yeah, he's an artist relations. Artist relations. So he gave us all the whole yeah. ass Manage, title. Manager of strategic relations. We, we did that one day. We were like, <laughs> very strategic. Yeah, yeah. the one word. So your strategic word. relations. Yeah. So okay. we got connected with this guy, Happy Dad, and we had Yeti. All these other things. We're like, yo, can we set? I say, Steph, here, move, boom, kick it to you. Steph said, like, can we set up a whole activation? He's like, bet, yeah. let's go. And now, bro, Boston, Happy Dad set a whole activation there. Wow. We were just in there. They just dropping where we're at. Like, where yeah. y'all going to be? We'll take care of you. Happy Dad's everywhere. We're like, yo, this is so dope. And people are like, yo, what is this? And the East Coast don't know what Happy Dad really yeah. is. Because wasn't there another one before the, uh, the last tour we did? Um, the Which one was that? The we October went, Tour. <clears throat> there was another. Cro October Tour. 
There was another brand, brand? like a seltzer brand that was giving you guys. But that just shows that the brands are coming knocking at the door. I, yeah. Absolutely. Like and from happy dads, yeah. and, you know, Or you guys are just, ha- that you guys are fans of that other one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's crazy because when you're fans of something and you kind of speak into existence, it's crazy how it just comes Bro. right up. Mm-hmm. You know, we're drinking happy dads without them being one of the sponsor. Now they're a sponsor. No, now they're a sponsor. Hey, Popping macadamia Mama nuts. Lola. Now now they're a sponsor of the VIP. So it just goes to show that. What, what do you want? Uh, let's <laughs> hey, let's not let let's speak it to existence. Uh, hey, those got us tequila out good. So. <laughs> hey, what about the uh, Uncle, Uncle Ed's? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's that's our our vodka. We're about to launch that right now. In yeah, Hawaii. it's a big wow. Vodka. It's it's on and cracking. Foodland, all the foodlands. Yeah, Come on, that's see. your guys' vodka. Yeah, that's yes. our vodka. Wow, I thought it was an actual person. <clears throat> well, he well, passed he away. Passed oh, away. okay. Yeah. All right. So Uncle Ed's. You know, uh, I don't know if we went into this, but you know, his dream, his dream, his lifelong mission was to give back, because mm-hmm. he went, stayed in Big Island, you know, loved the community. Yeah. Um, they helped him out on his farm, and so he, because he came from a distillery family, um, you know. And who is he? So Uncle Ed's, you know, you remember you know, Walt, a boy, Walt Kirby, our boy you know, Walt. Oh yeah, that's yeah, his yeah. brother. Yeah. That's his oh, brother. Okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah. He passed away a couple so, years yeah. ago. So he passed away when he oh, was. What's um, he he passed away before we could like actually activate, even though we were talking about it, like how to include the you know Native Hawaiian, um, you know make Native Hawaiian ownership and things like that, give back, in, give back in a meaningful way. He passed away. Then Walt yeah. kind of like picked up where he left off and it kind of carrying for it worked out yeah. when we heard his mission it was a wrap because there's yeah. a lot of other spirit companies yeah we get that came up because we get approached for like beer wine yeah you know and you, at least you guys get to pick and choose like yeah. these. Yeah. like okay i like this like you know everyone can have any brands but yeah. you got to kind of actually vibe with it yeah you gotta yeah. like happy day you gotta like you know those yeah guys, whatever everybody's pushing absolutely you kind of gotta like that i like macadamia in it so i like my well, yeah. I, I did not know that was your guys uh you guys yeah well, when we heard they asked us he's like dude we want you to make part ownership of this because when they saw that that, you know, when we saw that they were giving back programs for the Native Hawaiian yeah. communities and on Polynesian, we're like, yo, we're all about it. Let's run it. And then we tasted it. We're like, yo, we're not even vodka drinkers. Yeah. This is why that's the deal closer the, right there. Yeah. That was one of the it, smoothest, like, okay, this cool. yeah. smoothest vodkas I've ever had. Yeah. I'm not I'm not even blowing, blowing smoke, yeah, bro. Yeah, everybody says that. Bro, yeah. it's so well, fire. Plug Uncle Ed's then, man. Yeah, yeah, we're all about Uncle Ed's in the building. Well, Uncle Ed's there. Y'all don't even know. <laughs> no, Coming we, to yeah, you very it's, soon. It's, it, it's getting it's getting relaunched thing in November. I, yeah. I, I just got word. So that's like, huge, huge, bro. And here's the thing, bro. You know, like the distribution company that you know, like with liquor. And I'm I'm gonna segue off here to yeah. the cider, but it's crazy how when we manifest, like you know, he wanted to give back in a meaningful way. That led to us being owners. We have Tracy, who uh, uh, a Is Hawaiian. A she is the CEO. Wow. She came on as CEO, and then we We're, partnered up with Odom. The guy who runs it, Samoan. Yeah, you know what wow. I mean. Like it's and they're they're a liquor distribution company, um, and you know and Tracy's Hawaiian from yeah. Hawaiian Manalo. Yeah, and she was with Fiji for Fiji water, water for fifteen years. Wow. So it's like it's kind of cool how like you're saying we're manifesting. Still this got is, the plug at Fiji. Yeah. This, was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. this was our you know this was our our, our purpose. We want to have purposeful. Yeah. You know, th- meaningful relationships yeah. and things that lead to bigger things, and this was just one of them. You know, like the I think the ten year goal is to move the um, distillery to Hawaii. You know, where where the the, the land and yeah. they have water and stuff like that. So it's like, it's really cool. I I, I think it's exciting. It's crazy because wow. manifestation is everything. Yep. Hallelujah. Yeah. Speaking everything to an existence is everything because I think that's what comes back to what we're ending with. Yep. Where you guys are putting in the work and the grit don't quit. Yep. And, and, and it shows and the proof is in the pudding where you guys keep doing what you're doing. I'm telling you, we're going to have this conversation as you guys be. And not to say that the Grammy thing is like something that you need confirmation yeah, from. But right. hell, no. if you're a Grammy Award winning <laughs> Comic King, I'm telling you, it sounds a little bit better when I'm doing the intro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> With that said, we got our bros from Comic King. My brother Westapa is back in the yes, building. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. Man, we're going to yeah. sip on some Uncle Ed's with Dos Cotas Tequila. We'll see you guys on the next one. Western Conference Podcast. We out. Peace.